Hey everybody, it's Audrey. Thanks for joining me today for day six of the Summer Scrapping Series. Almost about ready to wrap up the last week. Uh, my guest today is Orange Girl and she has a super cute page, so go check out her YouTube channel and video. So I am using a couple cut files. This one in black here is actually from the Paper Issues store. And the one in the top left I have already traced up there is, I think it's, I got it in the Silhouette store. I honestly don't know where that particular one came from, but I am going to use anchors as my um, theme today. And I wanted a couple different patterns and like styles of anchors. So uh, the Paper Issues cut file had two anchors on it. And then this third cut file um, also had anchors on it as well. So my goal is just to cut out a whole bunch of anchors and um, I originally thought perhaps a grid design. I don't know why I'm stuck on grid design. So I did the same thing the other day with my flip-flop cut file. I thought I was going to make grids. Um, so I copied and pasted a whole bunch of the anchors and uh, you know uh, set them up there in the grid. I also thought maybe I would use the title Seize the Day and uh, perhaps that um, that wheel there. Um, so I drew a square that was the size of my photo and I was again I was thinking about about the grid design and so I put my square on there to see how that looked relative to size and it was pretty good. So this is also a scrap busting layout because I went through a ton of my old summer collections um, and just pulled out a whole bunch of papers of bright colors mostly tone on tone. I do have this one checkered piece of paper here but I want, because the anchors I'm cutting are very small, I wanted to make sure that you could see the pattern. <clears throat> so I um, pulled out another piece of paper for my background paper. This also is an old piece of paper. It's from the stu old Studio Calico line. I'm going to apply some gesso to the background there. Let that dry. Clean that up. Um, and then here are my little anchor cutouts. So you can see I just cut each little square there two by two and then um, put them on the mat and cut out, what is that, three times six, 18, <laughs> 18 anchors. Um, however, as I was removing them from the sheet, my, my intention was to use the, the anchor itself, but these negatives were so cute, I thought that perhaps I would use the negatives instead, so I started playing around with those. Um, I really love this um, collection of colors here. I think they're, they're just so pretty and summery. So I'm going to play around with this layout a little bit. This one anchor on this orange piece of paper, my mat is losing its stickiness, so um, I didn't have this one square uh, stuck down good enough, and the blade kind of spun it around a little bit. <clears throat> but I just took it off and just traced the anchor. This is a relatively easy shape to cut out. Okay, so just going to play with this a little bit more. And this is a really easy way to create a page is to just pick a shape like for the theme of your page and cut out several copies of it from different pattern papers and then just lay them in different ways and you can get um, pretty simple and easy design. I mean, it could be something as simple as circles or something more detailed like the anchors here. So that was really cute, but um, not the exact look I was going for today. And so I put the, the squares to the side for now, and I'm just going to work with the actual anchor cuts. So I try the grid here, um, and I don't know why I cut out 18. I, I was going to do a 4x4 four four grid, but um, I, I wasn't feeling that. And then so I thought maybe I could just like layer all these anchors together. And I thought that was kind of cute. So I might stick with that design. So I pull those anchors off and I'm going to now go to my mixed media. And I'm going to, of course, when I do my summer pages, I like to do like watery colors um, in the background, so some blues and greens. I am using a mix of stuff here. This is Distress Oxide, oxide Spray, I think in Peacock Feathers. And then I have a um, Shimmers. Um, Inklings there, I think. This is um, called Cracked Pistachio, I think. I love mixing this color with a teal blue. You get really, really pretty greenish blue. 
And I love the way that these Distress Oxide sprays react with each other and with other inks and with water. And then I went going back in with a little bit darker blue. I'm always afraid that the dark color is going to be too dark, so I splotch it off, dry it off there with a paper towel. But I wish now, looking at it now, that I had left it a little bit darker with some more navy in there. Okay, so I like that. Um, in the meantime, I had cut out that wheel, that steering wheel, and I cut it out of a piece of wood grain paper. Because I had all those bright colors of anchors, I thought that um, wood grain would be uh, a good fit for this. And I love using wood grain with summary photos, especially boating photos. And because I think the wood reminds me of like, you know, we spend a lot of time on the dock, and obviously the dock is made of wood, so I think that that's why I make that association between the wood grain and summer. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of gold here, um, a few gold splatters, which looks kind of yellowish, but um, and again, when it goes over the blue, it makes the greenish color, so it's really pretty. Okay, and finally some white. I think that's it for my colors. Uh, I'm going to add some white. The Delusions, this white takes a while to dry. So after that dried, I'm going to start now layering some stuff on. So I'm going to back my photo with a piece of pattern paper. And I was going through some um, a pile. I have a huge, huge stack of 3x4 cards and 4x6 cards, all from old Hip Kit Club kits. Um, and I don't use them very often, so... Um, I really need to start using them, even if it's just to layer, you know, behind a photo or something. Um, I put a pink one there, but I don't think I keep the pink. It was too much contrast with the, I liked, I really liked the, the way the blues were looking. All right, so I, when I laid out these anchors, I thought because they all have the little holes in them that I'm going to thread them with some twine. I thought that, that would look cute. So... I cut a very long piece of twine because I don't want the twine to be very taut. I want it to kind of twist and bend and turn a little bit. So I'm going to go through and thread all of these, um, the, the holes in the anchors. I, this is probably the most ridiculous way to do this. I should have just like put the anchor, glued the anchors down first and then gone through and threading, thread it, but I... I don't know why I didn't do that, but I'm trying to wrangle these anchors, and they're not an easy, sh like when they get stuck on each other, uh, because they have the little hooks on the end, they are hard to get apart, so um, I don't know, I, I was just really struggling with, I know it doesn't look like it in the video, because I'm going, um, you know, it's, it's sped up here, but um, it's, this is just a little bit of a pain. So I, um, I'm going, like, th from the back on some of them, and then down through the front on others, uh, as I'm threading them on here, just because I want, again, I want the, the thread to, the twine to be able to come up and kind of um, circle and loop. So now I'm going to go back through and use some pop dots and just scatter them around. Okay, so that's done. I love how that looks. I am so glad I did this instead of the grid design. I think it's so much more interesting than the grid. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like grid designs, but uh, sometimes, you know, it's fun to do other patterns. And I also love that they're kind of like, I wasn't intending for the rainbow look. Um, I was kind of just scattering them out, but they kind of do look like uh, a rainbow pattern there. I'm going to layer my photo on now. So this is the part in my, the, the, the spot in my layouts where I usually start getting stuck. You know, I got the main design down and now it's, okay, what am I going to add for other little embellishments? Because the anchors are such a, you know, prominent feature, as is the wheel. I don't want to add too many other things. Um, I went through my stash again. I have so much stuff scattered across my desk. It's just, it's and on my around my feet on the floor. I mean, I just have stuff everywhere. I'm a very messy scrapper. <laughs> um, I try to clean up after each project, but that doesn't always happen. But I'm, I'm, when you're not working with a particular kit or anything, it's really easy just to, you know, start digging through your stash and pulling things out. And 
Um, yeah, so I spend a while doing that. I had picked out some journaling cards, um, tags, and thought maybe I'd stick them behind the photo, but I really don't want to cover up that background because I really love how that water color came out in the background. So I had put a little strip of washi tape in the top and the bottom. I end up taking that off because um, I wasn't too happy with that. I went back to the Sunny Days collection from Crate Paper and these, I remember these little clear stickers, these sailboats, super cute, even though we're not on a sailboat, it's fine. Um, and I'm just gonna scatter all the, I think I used them, used them all, but they kind of add a neat little background element there. I also found a little like acetate piece. It's in the wheel, it says you and me. Um, that was from a very old pink Paisley, Paisley collection. And now what else do I add? So I cut a title that says, I, instead of doing the seize the day, um, I found a little sticker in my stash that said anchors away. And I thought that was a much more appropriate title seeing as how I have anchors all over the place here. Um, and I'm going to use that, but when I cut it, my Y didn't cut correctly. The bottom of the Y got cut off, so I had to cut another Y. And this font is one, I think it's called Matilda. Um, again, just a free font that I got from some free font site. I really liked the pops of navy, um, the anchors of the navy, and I only had two navy anchors, so I thought maybe I would add another little navy element at the top. I realize the top of my page now you can't see very well. I must have moved it out of the, the viewing area. So I didn't like that tag. Uh, it was too big. So I'm going to cut just some tiny little flags and stick some little pennant flags up at the top. And I'm using the same colors that I used for uh, the anchors in the bottom. So I'm going to use a blue, kind of an orangey red, and a yellow. And a piece of washi tape up at the top. Just doing a little surgery on my Y here to fix it up. So this photo, um, we have like a little, in the Thousand Islands, we have like a little jet boat. And it's really bouncy, especially if it's wavy out. And the kids, I don't, they, they always get freaked out at first when we go out. And they, get, they get nervous every time. And then we start going fast and then, you know, then they start liking it eventually but they give us a hard time at first I'm scared I'm scared I'm like why are you scared it's just some waves and then they then they really get into it so um, this was a cute photo I took when we went for a little sunset spin one one night last summer okay so I have the yellow red and blue little flags at the top I need something green up there so I, I have to find something um, to put up there at the top. So I'll have to look through my stash for that. I went through, and I don't know if I showed, showed this here, I machine stitched on my anchor. I don't know if I, I guess I don't show you a close up. Um, I machine stitched with some gold thread and it it's really hard to see here, but you'll see it in the close ups. Um, I stitched down each line of the, of the wheel there and then the two main circles of the wheel. Um, and then I, I'm just gonna glue this down I wish I cut the wheel just a tiny bit bigger. Um, even though I, every time, even though I lay it out in, de, in design, uh, in, this, in the Silhouette Design Studio, sometimes when it, when it gets cut out, it's still just not the right size. Because I sometimes forget that I'm going to add um, paper behind my photo, which obviously increases the size of your photo, so more of your cut file gets um, covered up. So I gotta remember that next time I plan ahead. Okay, so, you know, as I was saying, trying to find other embellishments, I'm really not going to add too much else to this page. I'm going to put a couple um, enamel dots on here, kind of a greenish um, minty color. And then I'm going to add some sequins. These are just some sequins from my stash. I really don't know where they came from. They're kind of a, a clear, but they have a little bit of a yellow tint to them. And I started putting them on with liquid glue, and then I remembered that they stick much better if I use some glue dots. So I'll dig out some glue dots here. So here's where I'm trying to find something green to put um, on the top of my 
page here to kind of pull in some of those green anchors. So yes, of course, I spend like 15 minutes going through my stash finding just the right thing. Putting those sequins on. And then what else do I add? A label sticker for the, a tiny label sticker for the date on the top of my photo. And then I do some journaling along the bottom. And I finally found a green item. Uh, I don't know if I show it in here, but it is from the Sunny Days collection. And it was perfect. It was a little phrase sticker. It says, take me somewhere. And I just love how that fit the theme. So there's the finished page. I, I'm really glad I chose to do the anchors like that and kind of leave that twine swirling around on there. You can see some sequins there and enamel dots and the watercolors. So this was a super fun page to make. Oh, there's the stitching. I love using cut files. My favorite thing. Okay, that is it for day six. Uh, please go check out Orange Girl's page today. And I will see you tomorrow for the last day of the first week. Stay scrappy, friends.